Hello, bad golfers. It's Johnny JR here with a very special edition of Bad Golf because there's no Alex because he's far too successful to play golf at the minute. And I'm in Ireland. I'm in the Emerald Isle and I have reached out to another golfing YouTuber for a special edition, a mashup, a takeover of Bad Golf. So it's not just hello to bad golfers, it's hello to high handicappers as we welcome Jamie from Diary of a High Handicapper. Hello guys. Hey Jamie, how you doing? Not too bad. Say hello to the bad golfers. Hello bad golfers, I am one of you. You are, what do you play off? I'm off 26 at the moment. 26, so a nice starting point. And we are at Killeen Golf Club on the back nine. And folks, you know from our videos how wise I am, how bloody wise I am, how calm I am, how chilled I am about golf. And what I thought is while I'm over in Ireland, I could hook up with Jamie to see if for the first time ever, I can use my bad golfing wisdom to help him break 45, which is essentially 90, over nine holes. Jamie, what, how are you feeling in yourself? Right now or just? Yeah, no, just right now, how are you feeling about your game? How's your body feeling? I'm feeling a little bit relaxed. Obviously, I got the chance to meet you a little earlier on. I was very nervous driving here, but you've put me at ease, so thank yep. you, John. Um, but I do know that once I stand up and tee up the ball, that's when a little bit of anxiousness takes over. No, there's no consequences. Okay. Because every shot you're going to play, there's going to be a bit of interest and we can discuss it. Yeah. And we can talk through the thinking behind the decision making. So, yeah. you know, we're looking at this beautiful, this beautiful par five opening tee shot. Look at this, guys. I mean, what was there? There's, no, there's nothing to fear. <laughs> there's nothing to fear, dear friends. I've already removed uh, the club Jamie is least confident with from his bag, which I think is a top tip. So we have removed the uh, four hybrid from Jamie's bag. He prefers uh, a driver off the tee, which is fine. So you're playing with the club you're most confident with. Get rid of the one you're not. Oh, one thing I need to know, what's your shot shape? Uh, it is very much a high handicapper fade, yep. also known as... Power fade. Yeah, exactly. Power yeah. fade. Yeah, I've, I've got a power fade as well. Yeah. Um, and it's, a, it's a, an interesting weapon to wield. Yeah. Uh, so folks, we've got nine holes with Jamie, trying to break 45. I'm keeping his score. Jamie won't know uh, what score he's on. And also, I'm just gonna talk him through all of the different situations using my massive golfing brain. So here we go. Hey folks, we're here on the first tee with Jamie. He's teeing it up. He's going to absolutely, calmly, <laughs> play a very measured swing. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Skyed it a bit. That's all right. Skyed it straight. Here we go, guys. What a brilliant drive. Game on. So does that count as hitting the fairway? Oh yeah, that's on, that's on the fairway. <laughs> Is it winter rules? Okay, so shot two on the 10th hole. We've got, uh, it, well, it's irrelevant how far the green yeah. is. So you're just gonna play what you're sort of most comfortable. I'm just gonna play a six iron, which hopefully I hit well enough most days. Yeah, no, that's great. You just wanna advance the ball. That's it. Oh, a lovely strike. A little right. It's all right. Okay, folks, so Jamie's got 200 to the front of the green, and that's further than his distance. So we've also got bunkers ahead. So as opposed to just hitting it as far as it's possible for Jamie to hit it, what we're gonna do is play a shot that means none of those bunkers come into play, which is about 120 yards. So, so what do you hit 120 yards? Uh, it's probably in between a nine and an eight. We'll so. go for a nine because we got the wind behind. Okay. Oh, mate. <laughs> what a shot. We'll take that. Absolutely perfect. That's what happens when you're not stressed about the shot you're playing. What would have happened if you tried to hit your hybrid 190 yards there? Um, it probably would have went 19 yards. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Remember, John, course repair is very important on YouTube. It absolutely is. Okay, folks. Three shots, Jamie is slap bang in the middle of the fairway, 111 to the pin. Uh, what are we hitting here, Jamie? Again, I'm in between clubs slightly, so 
My pitching wedge probably 100, my 9-iron 115. Oh, let's go pitching wedge. Pitching Got wedge. Wind behind. Okay. It's exciting. I've never caddied before. I'm a caddy, so I get 10% of all Jamie's winnings. Yeah, which is zero, obviously. Um. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Has that come down? Hey! Terrible. Okay, folks, a non-ideal. Went into a bit of a tree there. <laughs> uh, but we don't mind that, because we've now, we've actually now got a better, better yeah, line into the green. Yeah, strategic. Because you've got all that space. Yeah. And you can just bump it over there, run it along. What are you hitting, Jamie? I might try a sand wedge. 83 yards. Can I just show you something? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a shot, which is quite useful, because okay. sand wedge off a rock solid lie okay. under a tree yeah. might not be ideal. Okay. If I get my nine iron. Yeah. Probably should have gone with an eight, but you see what I mean? Yeah. Sort of minimal, so minimal you... risk. Jamie. Oh, steady, steady, Jamie, steady, that's steady. That's a brilliant shot. That's okay. You got uh, a putt. It's rolled off. It's got a putt. Okay, folks. Jamie was very disappointed there. He thought he'd messed that up, but he's ended up. What do you reckon you are, 20 foot? About 30 foot from the pin, which from 87 yards under a tree, you would take that with a sand wedge, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'd say that's pretty straight. Yeah, and I'm probably just gonna concentrate on trying to get it close. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, don't you worry. So this for Papa Duble. Yes! What a putt! <laughs> oh, I need a dash. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Papa Duble. Come on. Oh, what a putt. Well, folks, a superb Papa Duble uh, on the last hole. What a beautiful putt that was. How are you feeling now? Feeling a lot more relaxed. Obviously disappointed by that uh, shot pitching wedge into the tree, but everything yeah, but, else. But also, nice little top tip. Don't worry about your sand wedge unless you're in sand yeah good good tip oh mate what a shot stay out of the trees oh Jamie I'm gonna hit one folks just for a laugh I'm not actually I'm not actually playing the holes he said he wasn't gonna hit any I knew he wouldn't make the nine holes John Too big, too big. He's outdriven me. Right, folks, we've got to the front of the green, Jamie, we've got 180. 180. However, the wind is 10 miles an hour into us. Okay. Which is gonna make that, so it's about two yards for every yard in. Okay. So it's gonna make that 200. Yeah, no, so I forget dash. about that. Yeah. What's your favorite sort of distance in? Well, <laughs> it used to be about, 90 to 100 yards, uh -huh. but after the last shot, I don't know. But no, still, from about, I'd say 95 yards. Yeah, so yeah. let's, we want to be... 105. Well, let's play, well, what club do you like? It doesn't really matter. Seven, but I might eight, just hit an... Seven, eight, six, nine, doesn't matter. I'll go to an eight iron. Yeah, lovely. Oh. Don't worry. Right, what Jamie has very cleverly and kindly done here is created the perfect scenario that you often see videos about breaking 90 and 100 and stuff. And what you'll see is a pro will drop a ball here and they'll say, in this situation, just take your medicine, just chip out, and then not explain anything about how that works, okay. <laughs> what you have to do. So what's the least risk? So if I try and show everyone what's your What's, what you're seeing here, so you've got flag is there behind these trees. So flags, no, no thanks. What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking just like that gap is as big as that one. So yeah. just try and dribble one out into the front of the fairway. 
Yeah. That's probably a little bit well, safer out this way. Yeah, I mean, between here and that bunker, yeah. you've probably got 60 yards. Yeah. Do you remember that shot you played with the 9-9 into yeah. the green? Yeah. So if you play that shot with a lower lofted club. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely. I love that. I have got so much time for that shot. But 60, 61 yards. Uh-huh. Now, normally I would hit probably the three quarter length sand wedge. Thing with the sand wedge, if, you, if that's your favorite club to hit, go for it. But a three quarter length sh what shot. What would you do? I'll show you what I would do from here. That shot we played last time. Okay. And I play this sort of shot a lot. Okay. Because there is no danger anywhere. I, I mean, unless you completely knife it, which you could do with a sand wedge. Yeah. So 60. Probably take a nine iron. Okay. That's very good. So what's that? Two foot? Two foot. Now I'm not very good at golf, but the reason it's gone there is because I'm not stressed over the ball. Because yeah. I'm not thinking, don't toe it, don't knife it, whatever. Yeah. I'm so just thinking, I've got everything's in my favour. Nine iron? Is that nine what you hit? Yeah, nine iron, pitching wedge, whatever. Oh, I like it, Jamie, I like it. Get on, get on, get on. Fine, it's fine. So Jamie's a bit annoyed, I think, that he came up short, but we need to change that mindset. We need to be positive. Where are you not? You're not in a bunker. Yeah. You're not two foot in front of you, having chunked it. Yeah. You've got a putt. Yeah. Similar length to last time, two, three, about 36 feet. Okay. Uphill. So already, You've taken so much risk out of this approach. Yeah. Because nothing can now go wrong. No. So in terms of those big scores that ruin your handicap, yeah. ruin your card, we're, we're just avoiding them. Yeah. I it's think. going to come down slightly to the right off. When it goes up, comes down that bank. Yeah. So I think you want to start that about... Right to left, is it? It's about a couple of cups left. Left? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, that might, I might. No, no, might be I can see what you're. You oh. fucking beauty! <laughs> <laughs> I might just try and do that every time. Oh, mate. I mean, can you? Isn't golf amazing? Isn't Jamie lovely? Okay, folks, there's still an awful lot of emotion, an awful lot of adrenaline after that 36-foot putt from off the green to get a bogey there. One bad shot from Jamie, but he didn't let it turn into more bad shots. Uh, Jamie's not allowed to know his score, so I'm just going to show it to you. And I think you can agree, given a couple of the shots, not yeah. bad, not bad outcomes. Oh, Hey man, I mean that is, you can't hit a shot better than that. Shot. Oh, get over the hill. Lovely. We are 150 from the water. Okay. So what do you hit 130? 130, um, yeah, it's probably a, a full eight iron. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, mate, I've got so much time for that shot. What a situation we've got here. So Jamie's played two beautiful shots, sensible shots. He left himself middle of the fairway, 95 to the middle of the green. Jamie, what are you thinking? Thinking just pitch and wedge and aim dead centre of the green. Don't even think about where the pin is because as you can see, it's pretty precarious. Yeah, and I think because you've got all this water and you've got bunkers, all you've got to think of is no matter what putt you have, that's the goal, is to yeah. have a putter in your hand. Yeah. Whether it's 60 feet from right this edge, just off the green or yeah. whatever. It, it totally ignore the pin. The wind's going slightly like left to right. Yeah. So you sort of aim for the middle of that bunker. Yeah. Oh, mate. I don't care if that's in the bunker. Great shot. 
Oh, I like that. Oh, mate. Please hold. What a shot. Uh, That's great. What's all this saying? He's what, six foot? <laughs> no, I thought it was closer, it's just... Yeah, but you passed the hole, it's nice, man. Yeah. I see I'm not taking the Tiger Woods' advice very well, am I, John? What's that? Be positive and always speak positive. You've got to be positive. You've got to always have something positive to tell yourself. What a beautiful course. Hey, we're having, playing a beautiful course. Yeah. Lovely time, no stress. Oh, Jesus Christ, you can, you can putt, man. That's insane. <laughs> oh, God. This is just beautiful to watch. John, that is perfect. Don't hit the bird. Did it hit a bird? Oh, oh that's gone a mile. Right, we've got a decision to make here. Okay. Centre of that green, 165. Okay. But the carry, you have to carry at 145 over those bunkers. Okay. I don't think there's an advantage in going for the green here. Any chance of just trying to shoot up the middle and run it on, or do you think it's too risky? Uh, it's too risky because okay. if you look at, you know, 35, 40% of what you can see is bunker. Yeah, okay. So. Another layup. Yeah, I mean, I would I would hit whatever you hit. Pitching wedge will leave you 60 to the green. 60 to the green, okay, if I hit it 100. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's great. Oh, mate. <laughs> what a lovely shot. So, I've just hit off camera. Should we call it an absolute worldie? I'd call it an absolute worldy. I'm I'd probably quick golf if I hit that. <laughs> I'm six foot away. You got 75, 70, hang on, uphill, 80. 80, yeah. okay. Grand. Now, I'm not going to, because it's the dreaded sand wedge for me, so if you tell but me But do you, do you feel confident with the sand wedge Well, it's because I haven't hit it today yet, I don't know. Um, so, I could probably just knock a pitching wedge in there again. Yeah, I don't mind that. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. Don't mind that. Ooh, a little long. Go on. Johnny JR for birdie. Oh. Shot. He hasn't. He hasn't. Jesus Christ, man. You're one of the best putters I've ever played with. <laughs> What, that was so well judged. Thank you. Okay, folks, no Alex today, but in his honor, I have just spotted one of the great golfing hedges. And uh, I'm delighted to say, Jamie and I are gonna go through it now. Jamie, if you could get some top level footage of this golfing hedge. Doing my best here for you, John. Oh my God. Look at this. That is a pretty good hedge. I mean, is it really a hedge? It feels like a hedge. I feel like we're in the golfing equivalent of Narnia here. Yes, it's a bit like uh, Lord of the Rings. I'm getting quite emotional, John. <laughs> it's like a fairy tale. It's beautiful. Alex, I wish you were here to experience this golfing hedge. But he's in Sri Lanka. Well, where do you think he'd prefer to be, John? Well, I think if he was honest, he'd rather be in one of the great golfing hedges <laughs> than in Sri Lanka. That's for sure. And what a lovely exit it is. Stunning. Oh, it's the avenue of trees. I can tell you, John, I never used to look at hedges before, but I think <laughs> you've opened my mind now. 170 to the pin. Really? Yeah. Maybe 175, but 170 to that bit where the, the apron widens out. Okay, so I, I'm going to struggle. It's going to be a five iron, which is my hey, longest. Well, well, let's change the language here. Okay. You're going to what? I'm going to hit my five iron very well. Yeah. Probably might not reach the pin, but I'm hoping at least that if I hit it well, I can get it on the front. Great stuff. Okay. Perfect. Mm. Don't mind it. Keep an eye. There we go. Is it what out? a bounce in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> we all need a bit of luck sometimes. <laughs> 
dear. It's contagious. <laughs> what a journey that ball went on. <laughs> So what have we got here to that pin? You've had a lucky bounce, but you deserve it because you're playing well. Thank you. 55-ish to that. Okay. So, but what do you fancy from here? Do you, would you putt it? Would you- From here. Chip it on? Because it's a different, it's a distance that some people struggle with. Yeah, it is for me. Normally I would try and loft it. Uh, I'd probably again <laughs> hit a, maybe a half sand wedge, half swing sand wedge. But I think that probably now after known after you teach me a few things, more of a bump and run shot almost. Yeah. So yeah. what club would you reckon? Probably an eight iron. I absolutely love that shot, Jamie. Jamie, oh my God. I'm gonna zoom in folks, pin I can high. I can honestly say that's, that is thanks to you. I never would have thought about doing that from that distance. A little left edge, I think. Yeah, I might take this flag out just because yeah. it's blowing. Yeah, I think it's definitely left edge because it's just turning a little. But with enough pace, I can... Yeah, yeah, that's... that's. Oh, mate. Oh, first par. Yes, come on. <laughs> He's got the par. Now this one's a little bit trickier because the water's on the right hand Jamie. side. I'm just going to talk you through my thought process. Yeah. So I've been hitting them pretty well with a small fade, uh -huh. but I might maybe aim a little further left than I normally would. But then that sometimes can <laughs> cause the fade to be a lot. So there's a, even in your description of the hole, there's a lot of negativity. Okay. It's tricky. Yeah. I sometimes do this, but if okay. I do that, it might go wrong. Okay. So what's the most positive shot we could play here? It's par four, it's a long par four. I think the thing is, you're not gonna make the green in two. No. So what's the most comfortable way of making it in three? I would be tempted to take an iron. Really? Well. No, I'm hitting my driver well. Okay. But I don't wanna. Well, count. it's up It's up to you. If you, comf the, it doesn't matter what club it is. Are you confident with it? Yeah, I'm confident I get the driver in the fairway. And sort of aiming at that little marker? Pretty much exactly at that marker. Yeah, now I stuff. do expect it to turn in, but that's where I'm starting it out. No, that's good. Oh, hello. Oh, that was beautiful. That was exactly what you said you were gonna do. Yep. Ooh. Go, yeah. <laughs> oh! Right, John, talk to me. Well. I don't know if you can see, folks, you probably can't see, but here we've got water, and that water starts at 125. Uh, and we've got the green there, which is centre of the green is 210. So you're not going to make the green. No. So in this situation, what you want to do is if you're not going to make the green, you want to you want to not make the water. Yeah. So the water's 120. Yeah. What do you want to hit? Nine iron. Oh, mate, it's too easy, too easy. I think what Jamie is showing uh, today is a very important lesson that shooting 90, breaking 90, it's not about making more pars, it's about making less doubles. Yeah. And that's what you're doing today, because you, when was the last time you were out of a hole? Or at, when was the last time you were out of control of the hole at today? all? Today? Yeah. <laughs> uh, not really, no, even when I hit a bad shot, I quickly got it back in play. Yeah. Quick, yeah. And now we've got a big target. Yeah, 86 yards to the pin. So I reckon you want to go a bit beyond that. Yeah, pitch and wedge. Oh, that's so smooth. That was so smooth. And it stopped. Oh, what a shot. How do you, how do you feel about that? Pretty smug. <laughs> oh, a little bit of info for you folks. Our old friend Stroke Index 1 that Jamie has what, 30 foot putt on? Where's your pitch mark? Here's your pitch mark, mate. So close to the hole. So this for par, and the reason you got this for par is because you stayed in the hole, played beautifully. I'm really enjoying watching this.
With a remarkable weight. I thought you'd hit that way too slow. It's not gone, it's not moved as much as I advised you there, Jamie. No, I think it might have been a little bit straighter, but you haven't put me wrong much, John, so I don't think I'll. So not the easiest putt for a short ranger. It's in, mate. Had a bit of a flutter. <laughs> well, you said something to you just as you're over the putt. <laughs> what are you saying to yourself? You stood over a putt thinking, not the easiest one. Well, I mean, who does that? <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> you know, how you talk to yourself on the golf course. I can Very see. important. Yeah. Uh, lovely, lovely stuff from Jamie. It's a beautiful thing to watch. And this par five is quite short. And also, if you look at those two hills, they pretty much accept your fade, don't they? They do. So hopefully, not hopefully, they will. Yeah, the course is, is sucking you into it. It is. A little bit left. It's okay. We're dry. We're dry, we're swinging. Yeah. So I was just saying to Jamie, if you've got a slice or a fade, you should tee it up at the side of the tee box that your fade goes to. Because now if I aim at that sort of willow tree, I've got a huge amount of space, whereas if I'm over here, I'm basically, <laughs> I'm going to be going way out there. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I do indeed. So I'm going to aim, oh, probably just at that guy. Yeah, straight on his head. I'm going to aim at that guy's head. Trust your fade. <laughs> Trust my fade. Just like that? Yeah. So if you think about the angle. Yeah. That that went. And you've opened up the hole now. Yeah, have I, had I been going from here, yeah. I'd be towards, well, behind those trees. Yeah, but in there. What, what's the green from here? Not that I'm thinking about reaching it, but for my third shot. If you hit it to the edge of the water, you got 115 to the pin. Okay, and you said the water was? Well, if you hit it 170. Which I won't. In line with that duck, whatever yeah. it is, then you'd have 114. Okay. So any, any club, does, doesn't really matter what club it is. I might just go six, Aaron. Yeah. Love it. A little bit. Oh, fuck. Sorry, reset totally. Come back behind the ball because you've moved away from the ball twice yeah. now. So your alignment might be gone. Yeah. And just start right from the beginning. Some sticky leaf has got on my finger. <laughs> uh, okay, right, sorry. Yeah, good tip. Oh, I just can't believe I've done that. Don't worry. Is he wet? Might be wet. Might be wet. Might be wet. Okay. I apologize. No apologies. No apologies on the golf course. A little bit wet there, folks. It's okay because there's a short par five. You want to give yourself... He's getting... oh, I, thought, I, thought you st... I genuinely thought you were going to hit driver off the deck there. <laughs> Not quite. I wish I had that in my arsenal. <laughs> I reckon it's our old friend the nine iron. Nine iron. We see that bank of trees where there's four trees with one bit of mud under them. Yeah. And there's a tree on the left of that. Yeah. I'd go that tree. Okay. Then... Absolutely fine. What are you thinking? I'm thinking a seven iron, which I hit around 140. I like that. Um, and again, just obviously trying to aim at the middle of the green. Yeah. Oh, mate, no. don't mind that. It's gone in, is it? Oh, oh okay. yeah, the bed. <laughs> okay, so again, just an eight iron kind of bump and run. Well, yes, but you can't go for the pin if you want to play that shot because it all slopes towards the water. Okay. So I would go, I would go um, eight iron, but aiming at the middle of the bunker. Yeah, okay. Ah, bad Don't mind that at all. Just get a little experiment here, folks. See, because this the sort of shot with Jamie used to hit sandwich. See how sandwich would have got on.
Uh, way left, same result pretty much. Yeah. So, so same result with more risk? Yeah. Ah, uh, turn. That has stayed. How turn. has that stayed there? What you got to imagine is you're bowling, and on the screen you've just got your massive strike sign. I like this. What are you thinking? Firstly, Jamie, come come and say hello to everyone. You've just shot a ten. <laughs> went in the water twice. Yeah. You didn't actually make a shot selection mistake. It was just a couple of poor strikes. How are you feeling? I know you said I can't be negative, but I am feeling a little dejected. I mm. honestly haven't had a 10 in a long time. So to do it with yourself on camera when we're trying to break 45 is pretty devastating. <laughs> but you've just got to, you know, you, you tried to play a six sign out of the rough. Yeah which I don't, you did have a swing. It wasn't the wrong shot. It's yeah. just, this sort of thing is going to happen and you have to, yeah. you know, it is a blot on your card, but it isn't your whole card. Yeah. And you then my seven iron, I had the distance. I just pushed it. Yeah. So. But that's okay. So we've right. got a new, new challenge ahead of us yeah. now. Yeah, let's park it. Park that hole. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Look at that, straight back on the horse. Right in the middle of the fairway. I think part of the problem was before we started, John told me I need to find a state of zen. <laughs> now, unfortunately, usually my state of zens happen near water. So <laughs> I'm finding a lot of water today. John, what do you think? It could be, it could be your sort of natural, I'm guessing you're a Pisces. <laughs> Aquarius, are so you? even more accurate. Yeah. yeah, Folks, so we are approaching the 17th. And Jamie has said it's a tricky shot because on the left you've got the water and I'm guessing you're thinking that your fade is going to go over the water? Yeah, but with the irons my fade isn't as prevalent. Yeah. So I think just up the right hand side is probably the better thing to do. Yeah, because the danger is here that you think all about the water and forget that there's a huge wide expanse of fairway that's very forgiving and pretty much anywhere you go in that is going to give you a nice angle to the flag. Yeah. Beauty. Little right. Yeah, but there, there's no, you can't go too far right there. Yeah. Here we go, folks. Uh, Jamie, how far have you got, Jamie? 94 yards. 94 yards, third shot. If you look into the green, there's a little marker for you there, Jamie. Something right by the flag. Yeah, very um, helpful. And that's because I decided to have a go uh, from 200 yards. I sort of topped it. It didn't actually leave the ground at any point and sort of sliced along the grass to within, I would say, seven feet there. Very good course management. Very good course management. Thank you, Jamie. No problem. Ooh! How's he gone over there, Jamie? Oh, I just want to go home. <laughs> you don't. Can I hit off this? Now, I don't know what the rule, I think you can, off a tee box, you can't off a green. I might just not do it. You what? I might just not hit off her here, just cause... Yeah, sure. If, you, if you're not sure of the rule, then yeah. take, take relief, hit it from down there, because you don't want anyone to get annoyed. Yeah. 42 yards, and it has to go up. <laughs> hey, nothing has to happen. We just have to have a lovely time, and we're having a lovely time. Okay. Get up, get up, get up. Oh. Not quite. Oh, I don't mind that. Get up. Oh, yes. <laughs> what a shot. Oh, that looked nice. Oh, it's in a little pitch mark. He's in. Seven. <laughs> Seven, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Jamie, talk to me. How are you feeling? You had a tough couple of holes. Yeah, really tough couple of holes. Yeah. I'm feeling like I wish this wasn't on camera, John. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I said, <laughs> I'm, not, I said I'm not going to tell you your score, right? Yeah. But I think you know you're not going to break. I 45. think I know, yeah. Hole in one for 46. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
How's well, that sound? That sounds pretty good. Also, holes in ones is sorry for 46. Also, that's you played 10. the majority of today yeah. as a 15 handicapper. So really, 46 with the holes in ones is now. Yeah. Pop it in. Yeah. And, and then, then you've only missed by one shot. Brilliant. And then I'll have a go. I'll get holes in ones is. Oh, what a strike. Get in the hole. Jamie, what well, a it's, beautiful it's, bit of golf. I'm sorry it's not a hole in one. But... <laughs> okay, uh, Jamie's got his holes in, on, in onesies. Now time for my holes in onesies. Strike. Go on. Oh, it just... Oh, you got a bad bounce, but it was... Do you know a... what? I towed that a bit, but it looked good in the air. It did. So, two holes in onesies. There you go. Okay, folks. It's got to be 50 feet for a birdie. Birdie putt, green in regulation for a 47. Oh, you can fucking putt, man. That's a good putt. It's gone a bit long, but these greens are fast, eh? Yeah. Now too soft. Don't you worry, pop it in. And in he goes. Oh. Jamie, what a pleasure, mate. You too, John, thanks for coming. And thank you to Killeen Golf Club. Look at this. What a beautiful sight. Wonderful place. Now then, uh, Jamie has not succeeded in his quest to break 45. However, we're gonna tot up his Stableford points because I believe he's played exceptionally well. And do you, if you sort of forget about the, the par five, you think you played pretty well? Yeah, I think I played pretty well. Like the problem was on each hole, I probably had one calam, well, maybe on half the holes, I had like one calamity. Yep. And then that pretty much sums up my game. Um, but so, you didn't really let those calamities mount up, did you? No, not really. Um, so if I can just reduce those and just kind of advance the ball as opposed to shanking it right or left, like I would have went around and probably six or seven less strokes anyway, so. So should we go and grab a coffee? Absolutely, John, thanks. Well, folks, it's <laughs> time to say goodbye from both Bad Golf and... Diary of a High Handicapper. Do check out uh, Jamie's channel. We'll pop a link here. Do That's check out... John's channel, Bad, Bad Golf. I'll pop a link here. Um, and we totted up Jamie Stableford because even though he didn't break 90, how many points did you get? 19. I can't remember the last time I got 19 points. It's a phenomenal display. That is, that's one below your handicap. Uh, I think it's one above it. Because if it's 18, if, your hand, if the point system, 18 is your handicap, so I performed one better. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. one better. Yeah, yeah terminology. So you'd have, got, you'd have got a cut. I would have got a cut, yeah. So. Even with all those poor shots. <laughs> put them out of your mind. Exactly. No photographs of the card, but there are, alas, numbers um <laughs> but maybe we'll do this again maybe we'll you come over to england yeah definitely i'd love to actually do it over a ho uh, 18 holes That'd and really great. try and break 90 and a little bit more practice maybe and work on uh, those shanks and i i really appreciate your help out there i learned loads you've taught me a new shot selection in terms of the eight iron kind of bump and run fantastic of, yeah nice. Hi there. how are you doing it is, it is a good day to be alive. <laughs> what That's a what lovely way to about. finish. <laughs> <laughs> so see you again soon. Uh, thank you for watching Bad Golfers. Thanks and guys. Hi handicappers. Thank you to Colleen Golf Club. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. John, absolute pleasure. Bye.